What's up guys, Zigzire here, and this is my first After Effects tutorial. I'm teaching you guys how to make your After Effects run faster, and uh, pretty much that's it. Um, run faster, run it faster, etc, etc. So just open up your After Effects. Um, yeah. First thing you want to do is go to Preferences. Um, this mini and this cache, 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 cache. Um, click empty dish cache. But if you're on a Windows, um, you might have to go to choose folder or open folder and delete everything inside. Um, pretty much what this does is, if you um, if you're working on a project, then don't do it because it just deletes all your like stuff that's miscellaneous files I guess it's kind of just if you're not working on projects do it make it faster if you're working on projects just finish project and then do it then go to memory and multiprocessing I have a um put the RAM up so I have six eight gigabytes eight gigabytes of RAM dedicated to After Effects and uh, four gigabytes to my other software I guess um and when you click on this, it should be unchecked. Check it up. If you have a one core, don't check it. Just don't. <laughs> if you have a dual core, yeah, it can work, but yeah, triple core. Therefore, I have a quad core. So, um, pretty much what it does is it works all the processors on the After Effects and they run a lot faster. So yeah, and this um this would be how much RAM allocation per background CPU. This would be determined how much actual CPUs would be used. I keep it at 1.1.5 because that's like the average, and still have the all quad cores be used. Um. Oh, next. Yeah, let's go from here. Um. Yeah. All right. So click on this box, or whatever. Click Shift on your keyboard. Go to After Effects Preferences. Um. Let's go to General. Go to the Secret tab. Oh wait, didn't do it. My bad. Shift uh, preferences secret. Now disable layer cache. Ignore sequence rendering errors danger. So if you have like a really crappy computer and you can't render anything, ignore se and crashes. This will stop it from crashing. It will just keep on running through till the end and purge every two frames during make movie. If you have a one core with like two gigabytes of RAM, I suggest you don't do this because this won't help you at all. Um, that's pretty much it. Also, another thing you can do is, um, to make the render time faster is just import a random clip, push caps lock, then push composition, add a render queue, and then it'll freeze the frame so the frames don't change. But of course, in the video, when you render it, it'll be finished. It just well, yeah, make it faster. Um, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and like and favorite and subscribe. This is Xyra and peace.